hello and welcome to this session so this is a quite a different session where uh, we don't have to connect any wires or terminals to arduino so we can simply turn off the live feed any moment okay so what we are going to do is we will make a simple calculator using this 8-bit processor which is our atmega 328 microcontroller situated uh, located in arduino so we won't be covering all the functions of a regular calculator we will be simply uh, looking into a square root and power of integer so both in the floating point domain so in sheet uh, as you know there is no display connected to uh, arduino we will simply using the serial monitor to view the data and also serial monitor to send the request so it will be like an interactive session where user will in input the choice which uh, operation they want to select like square root or power of integer it will be a menu driven application and the processing will be done on arduino and the result will again send back to the serial monitor so let's get started and we won't be covering all the functions as you know because we have limited time but it can be extended to any such operations so let's get started you know we have to include two functions void main sorry void setup and sorry void loop void main is from c and from c background and that's okay fine so these two functions as you know are mandatory and here we have to include one function uh, sorry one library math.h that we will see when it whenever it's required so let's first build the interactive screen so simply you can first you have to start the serial uh, library serial dot begin the speed will be unchanged 9600 baud rate now serial dot okay what I will do is we don't need this live feed let me minimize this live feed in fact let me maximize this uh, Arduino IDE although it's not required we are just wasting our white space but it's fine we can concentrate on one thing at a time so serial dot println this we can say uh, so as I told you you'll have a menu type entry so let us say select operation by typing one or two okay so one for maybe a square root operation and two for power of integer serial dot println print in a new line here we can say one you can say square root we copy this line and two will be let's say power of integer and just for a decoration I will add a separator so that's it this function will run at once and this will print a menu so let's see how it looks control u to upload upload is done our serial monitor here we go so it was actually shown in my other desktop so I have to move it here so that's all it stays here and now we can proceed further let's come to our void loop and here okay so let's start with serial dot so here we will actually read from uh, user read from PC that user has selected which option so we know we have two option 
select uh, one or two so if user enters one suppose i enter one and hit enter i should be moved into a new page or a new menu where where i i would uh, i will be asked to enter the number which i want to make a square root okay find the square root so let's uh, okay let me show this window continuously because this will lead us some points pointers always on top yeah that's fine so now I can say, uh, as you know the syntax, if serial.available function, that means there is some data to read, is greater than zero, then do some operation, then do what, then read serial dot and we know that read function reads in ASCII, so we'll use serial dot uh, parse int, which will read in directly integer. And let's store it in a value, say Rx. Okay, and based on Rx, now we can say if, or simply we can use a case statement. Uh, switch rx and let me minimize wrap this code okay switch rx mm, case one if one is the number one is the integer received then serial dot say print now we have to save for one what we have to do so, so one is square root now we will ask user to enter a value for square root so let's say enter value for square root okay next is now here serial dot now here uh, this is important now in a now we are in a difficult situation because now again we have to read um, serial value which user will enter because we are in a loop and this loop will uh, only work if the first value is selected suppose case 1 is selected and here we have to again put another loop which will find uh, which value has, has been pressed that means we have to uh, put a while loop here to continuously monitor whether data is arrived or not okay to show that situation let me uh, move further so what we will do is if serial dot available greater than zero means there is some value to read and remember after the serial dot available is greater than zero and we received a serial dot parse int the serial buffer gets cleared same with read function so moment you read one byte the serial buffer gets cleared so it's it's important it, it has a timeout I guess it's important you keep uh, you grab all the data at time at once otherwise you will be losing serial data for that instance so again we are using a serial dot available and we are checking whether any serial data is available and this time we are expecting it will be again uh, it will be a number entered by a user which he wants to find the square root of okay so serial dot available again let me put curly braces and int let i say square the value something some variable serial dot parse int okay and let's not do the square root operation here let's simply do print ln square we will do the square root operation later so let's upload this program 
we are hoping to grab the number also the enter the value of square root if user select one okay so let's upload it print ln was not okay sorry serial dot print ln and again we are missing some braces so this is for case switch case this is for if and this is for this if loop and this one is extra upload is done let's select one it says enter value for square root now if i enter uh, i want to find the square root of for example 4 and i hit enter nothing happens can you can you guess why it happened why uh, why it didn't show any result because we have printed serial dot print ln here the reason is simple because it's an uh, infinite while loop this complete function this loop void loop is huge okay so what happens here is the moment the control comes from void setup to void loop serial dot available is checked once okay in the void loop in the first iteration so moment it received one it came to this position okay so we are here case one it printed the serial dot print ln immediately there is no delay here immediately it is looking for serial dot available right it's it's looking a momentary means the next moment it looks for serial dot available greater than zero and it doesn't find because we haven't entered uh, the number four fast enough to get into this if condition and that is almost next to impossible that we can uh, enter one and after showing up this immediately within the fraction of second we will enter some value here which will be grabbed by uh, serial dot parse int that is very very difficult okay so one solution is we have to keep this inside a while loop which will continuously check whether user has entered a value or not that means whether serial dot available have a data or not if if it, ha if it will have a data it will then uh, take that data and show it to user okay means make it available for square function i hope you understood this part so this part is running very fast so that's the reason we we are unable to send data in the correct time so that this function can receive it one and uh, one possible solution is keep this function in a while loop which will monitor continuously until serial dot available has some data then only it will break but that solution i won't recommend because that is not scalable so the best solution for such a uh, condition is creating a separate function uh, say we say read from pc function let's define that and that function will take care of uh, reading data from serial terminal for example i define uh, let's start coding that let's say a function we write read from pc okay and here we are and this function should be a should be a common function for even for this condition where we are looking for uh, looking for the first conditions where user check from the main menu whether you want to use one or two or this condition where inside the case statement we are looking for the same set of input from user so here what we will do is we will write a while loop you know only two functions are mandatory setup and loop you can write as many other functions you want so in this other function we have to write a while loop because it doesn't automatically uh, run forever so while serial dot available equals to equals to zero okay so why we have done equals to equals to zero the reason is and you can see we have closed the i have closed here the semicolon that means this this loops ends here so stay here okay let me write it down wait until data from pc 
that means I'm saying that be in this while loop unless you get some data so this condition will fail as soon as there will be a data and this while loop this zero won't be true so as long as there is no data this is a true statement and the uh, program will stay here forever until there is a new data from serial terminal okay from PC okay moment it gets a data what you do you return data as serial dot parse int okay and why parse int because parse int returns long integer value let me write that on also so parse int function returns long integer value unlike serial dot read unlike uh, read function or better we say serial dot read right which returns only one byte that also we can write which returns only one byte okay so now instead of using all this code we won't be uh, we will simply use the switch statement and switch here let me modify and let's call this read for read from PC function read from PC why we are doing so it's very clear so we immediately want to know what is the main menu content what uh, which content from main menu is selected either it's one or two so read from PC function will tell that so when read from PC is called it will go here and it will stay until the new data is available in this while loop and moment some data is available it will return the serial dot parse int so some data and the return is uh, it's not void it should be written type is integer and the return type will be stored here as either one two or some value some other value will be ignored and for one it will come to case one in the case one we have this statement is correct this can stay here we don't have to look for if condition again so what we will do here is we can simply remove all three lines and here simply we can use serial dot uh, println okay first we want to view the data okay uh, serial dot println read from PC is it correct yeah so this is for case 1 case 2 again I fine I think the braces are correct let's upload so step by step we are mo moving forward and let me select 1 enter the value for square root let's say 4 and we get 4 okay so so far we are good and for finding a square root we need not write a detailed code in the Arduino uh, the downloaded zip file the Arduino ID itself contains a function mat.h so we will simply include that function here include mat.h and this mat.h is is a standard function so, so this is my home directory in Windows you will be in somewhere documents so this is a downloaded zip file going to hardware tools AVR, AVR, include, and this math.h is available in the AVR function itself. Sorry, in the original uh, AVR function, sorry, original AVR library. Okay, so this is not, uh, but this is not exclusive to Arduino, so this header file can be used in many embedded platforms. So you can see here it is written. Um, okay so math.h mathematical functions author mr. Michael stump and some more details here you will find some macros at the end you will find the list of functions which it supports so I have taken some functions from here so you can see there is there are trigonometrical functions let me find them okay 
let's search let's search for square root so s q r t is the function i know that and there are 14 such things but i know it's somewhere here yes so this is the function extend double square root and that's it it takes one value one double value okay so if you are interested you can go to this header file and look into other mathematical operations for now we don't need this and we can simply proceed further okay so i have included math.h because it's a um, library from a given path i have to include in double quotes or does does it work with this also let me try i don't know um, okay so read from pc we know this so why don't instead of printing we can simply do uh, yeah instead of okay we can directly print square root sqrt and i hope it will work okay so we are doing sqrt is a function in the math.h we already know so sqrt read from the pc so what is read from the pc uh, read from the pc will return 4 for example and find the square root of 4 and do a serial dot print i hope this should work and it worked so math.h is a function accepted in the arduino ide so let's select one because two is not programmed yet enter the value for square root fine so square root of four is two square root of five it won't take so what you have to do you have to press one again and select the program so enter the value of square root okay so let's say five is 2.24 so we'll play with the calculator later so let's finish our program first and what is our next case so case one is done and we have to uh, okay let me do a small decoration serial dot print ln so look pretty okay and we have to of course say break if we wish to use so case two I can I think I can copy these lines and move accordingly now this should be 2 and here we can say okay for our second program our second calculator application is power of integer so find the power of integer you need two input values one is base and other is power so first user has to input base it doesn't matter first which one but normally we we worry about base first and let's okay let me read this remove it completely serial dot print and let's store that in a float base let me take a float type variable it supports float read from pc so this will return a value maybe in a float form also and let me print this value serial dot print ln base okay so similarly enter the power um, serial dot print let me give some space so that I don't have to type 2 again it won't look good enter power power value and we have to receive it serial dot um, sorry float in the power variable read from PC okay let's print the power value also so serial dot print ln power and let me give some space in between so that it's easy to read nice and 
now we have to find the calculation we know there is a function pow which is power and for that we can do a small decoration procedure dot print okay let's see how it looks so far are we going right so now we will select two enter the base value let's say four enter the power of two so far good fine so we have to do four into four and show the result for that let's say float result equals to power base comma power okay so this result we have to print serially so serial dot print ln result that's it I think so power of integer so base value say 4 power value is 2 and the result is 16 but it doesn't uh, appeals as 16 appeal as result so let me do a small uh, print statement here serial dot print so what is different in print and print ln simple print doesn't um, give a new line whereas print ln prints with a new line so power of given values given value value is whatever so okay so this will now go to I hope it should work I think that's it okay so let's start our program let's start with first square root enter value for square root okay so let me give a larger number I hope 111 will work it works so now again we are in the main menu it doesn't show it. we can modify the program to make it show it again clear the screen and write a main menu but that anyway you can do later power of integer base value let's say 6 and power is let's say 6 so 6 multiplied 6 times and here's the value is it correct I think so so surprisingly it looks correct and because we have chosen floating point value so anyway uh, because it's an 8-bit processor and there are some limitations to it the answer is correct I verified in my other terminal that's it so let's get a quick revision let's come to the top we have included math.h for two functions what are two new functions power and uh, square root sqrt so initially we tried uh, okay so void setup let me expand it is a plus icon so serial dot begin you understand it's beginning of serial port serial communication serial dot print ln this is a menu which we have printed once next comes void loop function the switch statement to select the menu entries one or two okay and in the switch statement we are simply calling a function read from pc and read from pc is here which continuously monitor whether any serial data is available or not so this this can be used for this can be extended to any such uh, serial programs which you will encounter uh, in near future and this immediately whenever the data is available it immediately sends as an integer value at many times you don't need integer you need simply uh, character or bytes okay so you can read uh, you can use instead of serial dot percent it's better to use serial dot read so in the case one we are in the square root function simply print square root read from PC so this function calls the read from PC and the value which 
it receives, it finds the square root of it using math.h functions, math.h library, and it prints the value. And you can see the value here, 10.54. Break. So it comes out of this loop, and this loop again starts. And the moment loop starts again, so it again goes to switch statement. So the switch statement, when it goes, it again goes to read from PC, and here it wait for user input. So again, if you press 1 or 2, based on our menu entries, it will go either in first or second function. Again, suppose it enters to the second case, enter the base value, read from PC, same. You take the base value in float and power value in float and simply do power base power function base into uh, base comma power which will return you the power of that integer and that's it so this is a simple calculator made with serial communication hope you enjoyed it see you in next video